What is going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm having a great week so far. As you guys can tell, I'm in the new apartment. Huge life changes going on right now. Tons of new updates to fill you guys in on. It's all very exciting stuff. Everything is going so well. Yeah, it's kind of a gloomy morning in Los Angeles, but I figured why not set up uh, the new camera and show you guys what I've either picked up or what I'm wearing this uh, fall winter season. Um, Black Friday just happened last week and I grabbed a couple of things which will be in my next video. Um, yeah, this is just some of the recent stuff that I've acquired over the past like couple months since it's been a little while since I um, did like a pickup style video. And yeah, I figured why not? Yeah, let's hop right into the video. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys which is easily been my most used item the past little while is this bag. This is the La Mer Soft Game Bag in I think the smaller variant if I remember correct. Um, I believe there's two sizes and I think I got the smaller one. Kind of realized I don't have any cross body bags in my rotation and I felt like I was missing one because um, I don't want to carry around like the Somar tote all the time and I also don't want to carry around a backpack all the time. This is a perfect in-between you can sling it over like a heavy jacket or you can just wear it over like a t-shirt um, and still carry your daily essentials without having to like clutter up your pockets. And yeah, I think the shape of this bag is so sick. Um, this is a version of their croissant bag, if you guys know that one. Um, that one usually comes in leather and this is like a really cool waterproof nylon. And another detail that's different about um, the soft game bag versus the croissant bag is the lacing structure on the side. So you got that right there and you got the lacing also on this side. Um, yeah, it's got like an adjustable strap so you can kind of tune it to uh, whatever shape you need. And since it's such like an ergonomic shape, you can kind of wear it on your back like that where I have it sort of on my backside or you can wear it more like that for ease of access. But yeah, I think this has just been like a great addition to my wardrobe. And I, you guys know I love like tassels and things like that, and stuff hanging off to create like a more dramatic silhouette. And because of all like the lacing, um, because like the pull tab on the zipper to like get into the bag, and then also with the adjustable strap, it's just like tons of straps that I just love hanging off like an outfit. So yeah, that's been a great pickup. The next item might be a little bit of a curveball for some people since um, it's like an item category that I've never really had in my wardrobe before or never really shown off on the channel before. Um, so let me go ahead and grab that real quick. So this has been one of my favorite items to wear recently. Um, hopefully the camera is picking this up and serving it some justice, but this is a corduroy overcoat from Raph Simmons. This is from his Autumn Winter 2000 to 2001 collection, which I believe is called Confusion. Um, and yeah, it's sort of just like a basic overcoat, sort of like oversized silhouette. Um, but the main detail is the material, which is a really thick corduroy. I'll see if I can get some close ups. Um, to show you guys the texture, but I just absolutely love this texture. It's almost kind of like a robe and yeah This is just so great to like throw on top of a hoodie and have like the hood pop out um, Or on top of like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or to even have a bag like the La Mer bag Kind of like tucked away underneath a little bit and just having that strap go across is so nice I think the Raph overcoats are very slept on um, sort of like a collector's piece though I know there's tons of alternatives out there that aren't necessarily collector's pieces um, I know Our Legacy has tons of really nice overcoats, like their whale overcoat is a great shape. And that's something that they keep uh, re-editioning into different materials, different colors. Um, and I know those go on sale pretty frequently. So if you were looking for a nice overcoat, you can go that route, or you could go the vintage route. There's so many vintage overcoats out there. Um, which I'll probably end up looking into, honestly. I think it'd be really cool to have like a leather overcoat. Um, so I'll probably be on the hunt for that pretty soon. So yeah, let's move on to the next item. So next up, I want to show you guys a pair of shoes. I've got three shoes to show you guys in this video. Um, this next one just came in fairly recently. I already made like a TikTok reel about it. And these are from Rotten Closet. 
um, which is run by my good friend Ryan. And this is his newest release, which is called the Morph Mule. And this is such a cool idea for a shoe. It kind of has like these almost like mummy straps of leather wrapping around the toe. And then what makes it a mule is like the fold down back. Um, I've, I don't know why, I've just been loving mules recently. Um, I have one more pair of mules to show you guys later. Um, but yeah, it's such a clean shoe and I love the lug sole on it. Um, it is a Vibram sole, which is really nice. And yeah, the teeth are just so cool. Love a good lug sole. It almost has like a moccasin style toe. You can kind of see a little bit of that toe cap peeking out from underneath the leather. Um, the actual leather quality is amazing as well. Um, yeah, Ryan just absolutely snapped on this pair of mules and I'm a huge, huge fan. I think they're sold out. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have some links down below. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next pair of shoes to show you guys. So these I had also featured on my Instagram and on the TikTok recently. Um, this is such a slept on shoe and I can't believe I didn't know about them sooner. I um, picked these up off of Essence for $47. I got them off the private sale. Um, these are the North Face Thermoball Traction V Mules. Kind of a mouthful of a name, um, but I grabbed the black colorway. It's sort of like a puffer mule slipper type deal. Um, it's got the typical like North Face like puffer material as the upper. Um, and then it has a nice traction lug sole on the bottom right there. It's got the little North Face print, which is really cute. And then, of course, since it's a mule, the flip down back. Um, the inside is nice and fuzzy. Originally, these were just gonna be like house slippers for me, but I've already worn them outside, as you can tell. Um, they're already getting a good bit of wear in. And yeah, for $47, I figured I'd give it a try, and I ended up just loving them. They're so cozy. And I think because they have like that sort of texture on it and the little logo, it kind of stands out um, in an outfit. It kind of like serves a purpose in an outfit um, rather, than, rather than just being like a house slipper mule. Um, I think they are actually cool looking. So yeah, just a quick little pickup I wanted to show you guys. Oh yeah, so the next thing I want to show you guys is actually, I'm already wearing it right now. Um, it is, here, I'll stand back up. It is this belt right here. Um, you guys might remember me showing off this belt a while ago, um, but it's finally ready to come out. This is from my brand Somar. The Metal Logo decal belt, um, which is a, like it's actually like a metal logo that's part of, here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off real quick. This is part of the next release. Then other item I will show right after this. Um, but this is the Metal Logo decal belt, um, which is done with a Nubuck leather, um, which is sort of like in between a suede and a typical leather. It's got a nice buckle in the front, and then the same Metal Logo that you see on the Play-Doh tote bag, I'll have a picture of that. Um, and yeah, we threw that on the end of a belt, which is like a really nice little pop um, to an outfit. I am a like 30-ish waist and I wear the small medium, um, but since it's a belt, it's kind of adjustable to many different waist size. And then one other really cool detail is the logo deboss on the inside right there. Hopefully the camera is like actually picking that up in focus. But yeah, really awesome item. And yeah, I just wanted to expand the Somar uniform into some more accessories and we decided to do a belt. Came out amazing. It's gonna be really affordable too. Um, haven't nailed down a price exact. This and the next item will be coming out on the 10th of December at uh, 12 p.m. PST, so noon on the Saturday. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. Follow the brand on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. You guys know how it goes. The next item requires a hanger because it's currently on a mannequin. So this item is the biggest release we've ever done for Somar. This is the Ives leather jacket. Um, highly, highly, highly anticipated. Um, I've been teasing it for about a year now and it's finally ready to release. This jacket is like the biggest accomplishment of my brand so far. 
um, the nicest item I've ever made. Uh, so this is made with an Italian Nubuck. We had it imported from Italy. We found this swatch of this Nubuck leather and I instantly fell in love with it. Bought every single yard they had available, hence all the scraps. So that belt that I just showed you guys is actually made from scrap leather. Tons of other items as well, like the canvas bifold card holder. Um, you guys have seen little patches of Somar on different items. Those are all made with excess leather, but then the bulk of the leather is made into these jackets. Um, we were only able to make, I think it was like 95 of these. And to make the sizing as easy as possible, we only ended up doing small, medium, large, but it's like an oversized jacket. So the one that I typically wear um, when I want like a slightly more fitted jacket is this one right here, which is a small. And then uh, when I want like a intended oversize, I go with the medium. I don't currently have a medium on hand because we're using it for a shoot, boxy, crop jacket, regular length sleeves. You can see the sleeves draped down below the body, which is one of my favorite silhouettes on an outerwear piece. And then it's got these two little pockets up front, handy dandy little pockets. And then it's got one up here on the chest, this little welt pocket. And then when you flip onto the back side, it's got the T back seam, one of my favorite details. So the yoke seam actually lines up with the sleeve seams and then it's got a center seam coming down the back. And then it does have, of course, the interior pocket with the care tags and all that mumbo jumbo on the inside. It's just such a well-made jacket. I haven't nailed down a price for it yet, but it is in that $400 range. Um, and there's only gonna be, I think, 95 of them. Uh, so it's a very, very limited release. Yeah. Anyways, this is called the Ives Leather Jacket. It will also be coming out on the 10th of December. So keep your eyes out for that. Really appreciate the love you guys have been showing for the brand recently. Um, it's kind of crazy how much the brand has grown in the past the year, especially. Um, and it just means so much to me. Tons of new announcements coming soon. And yeah, let's move on to the next item. This next item is one of my favorites. Um, this is a vintage pair of cowboy boots I got off of Etsy for like 75 bucks. Um, I think these are from the 70s, so they do have a good bit of age on them. And these are made with an ostrich leather. An ostrich leather, if you don't know, has this really cool texture where it's almost like polka dots. Um, but then the dots are like 3D, they stick out a little bit. And yeah, I just love the shape of this boot. I love that the heel comes straight down. It's not like a Cuban heel. Cuban heels will have that heel that kind of like wedges in a little bit. Not a fan of that so much. The top of the boot is soft enough that you can actually get your foot into because normally cowboy boots have such a stiff upper, it's like impossible to put on. These I can get on with absolutely no problem. And they fit great. Um, yeah, I just really lucked out with finding like a really great pair of cowboy boots. So yeah, that's it for that. Moving right along, this next piece is something that uh, was sort of like an unexpected purchase for me. Um, I wasn't looking for this in particular. It sort of stumbled into my sights. So this is a Yoji Yamamoto necktie. I'm gonna be honest, this is my first ever tie that I've ever owned. This is part of the newest collection from Yoji. Uh, and it, I just checked, it's now sold out, so you can't get this anymore. I thought it was gonna maybe go on sale. Um, I actually picked it up secondhand, so I got this at a pretty good deal. This is the spiderweb embroidered necktie. Such a good twist on like a classic item. How the, the embroidery is actually done is just so beautiful. It's not like a typical embroidery. It actually wraps around the tie. Um, so yeah, hopefully the camera can pick that up pretty well. Highly recommend looking into some of Yoji's neckties. Uh, I did a little bit of browsing before I ended up grabbing this one. And um, yeah, there's some really cool ones out there. Last up for this video, something that's not entirely new to the channel, since I think I did show this off um, a little while ago, maybe like three or four months ago. Um, this is, I think the same sample. It might be the next sample, um, but I do have a new one coming in relatively soon. Uh, this is a sample Somar hoodie that we're working on. Um, like I just mentioned, the new one's coming in soon, so I'll be sure to show that. But yeah, I've been wearing this a ton recently. Um, we don't have a name for it exactly. Um, however, 
If you did catch my latest Instagram post, you'll see that I was asking for some name suggestions and there are some great ones. So I'll probably end up using one of those and then whoever had the suggestion that I pick, um, I'm gonna go ahead and send them one of these. But yeah, this is a really nice vintage wash hoodie that we've been working on um, with this really, really amazing fit, very cropped in the body. Um, the sleeves are like elongated and it has that raglan sleeve, which I love. I love a good raglan sleeve. Huge oversized hood. Um, I'll probably throw some photos to illustrate that more appropriately, but yeah, it has this little quarter zip, so it's not like a full zip hoodie, but it's also not a pull, I mean, technically it is a pullover, but I just love that little quarter zip. It kind of gives a little bit more versatility in terms of uh, how to style it with an outfit. It does have that kangaroo pouch up front, tons of like micro distressing um, through the vintage wash process. And then one thing that we are still developing is the actual oil stained feature. Um, the next sample is way nicer than this one, so I'll be sure to show that. But yeah, this current one's a little too like dotty for me, it almost looks like bullet holes or something, um, which is cool, but it's not exactly what I had intended. Um, and yeah, I just love this color too. I think the color comes across nicely in the video. It's sort of like a really muted, faded, uh, brown dirt color. Um, but because of the wash process around the seams, you get to see a little bit of that darker hue peek out. French Terry, really, really heavy hoodie. I'm just excited for this one. This will probably be uh, later this year, early next year, whatever it ends up being. Honestly, like once an item is ready to produce, we kind of just put it right into production. Just trying to hit the ground running with Somar. Um, it's just been really taken off and uh, yeah, I just want to put out as much cool product as I can. I appreciate you guys so much for staying until the end of the video. Tons of life changes. I will be doing like an updated apartment and studio slash office tour pretty soon. Um, yeah, I don't want to give away too much, but yeah, I just really appreciate you guys sticking, sticking around, watching the video. Share with a friend, drop a like down below, subscribe, follow my brand on Instagram, follow myself on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, later.